Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's not actually morning. It's around 11 o'clock. It's morning to me, though. We're going to do a bit of a turn-in. we got some brass, some number two, some number one, some unclean wire, aluminum motor, just a motor. I'm going to take that wire in as it is, and i got two totes back here with some boards in it. Maybe these power supplies. But uh, let's do a pre-weigh in here. I got the scale set up. I'm gonna zero that out. Let's see what the brass weighs. It ain't all my stuff, y'all. I just I spent a hundred thirty-two. I'll throw you one more tidbit in there because I got these two buckets full and make it a uh, thirty-two point five or so. Then I'm dying to find out what this is. If that's brass, it makes that 35.6, 35.4. So let me throw a tidbit in there to make it 0.5. And then uh, we'll do the weigh up and pay up, and I'll let you guys know how I did today. I'm going to put your face in there. So I'm here with my buddy Eric. Yep. He's uh, he do electrical work, right? Plumbing sometimes, probably. Oh, yeah. So what he's going to donate some of this wire to the fund for the diaper shell. Good guy. You call me in time you want. All right, all you famous romantic people out there. I sold, uh, I had to move the kids' car. So, ooh, look at that nasty kid stuff. Yeah, well, they're kids. Sold two of these motors, pumps. I should say that's the motor, electric part, and these are pumps. Cool. I'm, uh, pack them up real tight. This one and that one, and a diaper box. Uh, with the way the economy is going, hopefully no one steals the diapers because they think it's diapers in there. But if it's 30 pounds, 40 pounds of diapers, they're not very bright. So yeah, those sold on eBay. Uh, I think I got I got $50 for ship. It's not going to cost that much. But I got 40 a piece out of them, I believe. I have to look again. Uh, you can go on my sold, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how all that works. I just sell the stuff. Got all that taken care of. I'm going to ship that out. Then e-waste Mike. He bought a large flat rate box full of e-waste. I'm going to add a few more things because I found out it was him. Still got this wire to go through. I got that today as well. Sold, uh, what did I sell yesterday? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I do remember. I sold a BiPAP, which is like a PAP, PAP machine. It helps you breathe, whatever they are. It's a smaller unit. It's not one of those. The guy's supposed to come and get that, too. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. I sold, uh, had seven tanks back here, oxygen tanks. Sold those to my buddy. Gave him a good deal so I can get me some free tools. It's basically what it was, is I got them free, sold them for the amount of the toolbox I want to buy. I'll show you that on video, too. Made a good deal on a uh, offer up. It's a brand new motor, brand new electric motor. You got the numbers right there. Can't see it. I'll zoom you in a little bit better. Paid 50 bucks cash for this. The guy just ripped the packing open, the shrink wrap open, just to take the pictures to put it on there. So we're gonna put that on eBay and see how we do. I took a chance at 50. And there it is, free toolbox. Well, it's fifty dollars to my neighbor, but uh, I got all his tanks for free. And I knew how much he wanted for this, so I hooked my buddy up. Big discount on them tanks. I just wanted this. Get tired of that bag. Nothing goes right. I'll be hunting in that bag. I can't find nothing. Something goes in there. I'm sure it's in here. Just the bags, that's fine. Can use those for something. Or I can sell them. <laughs> oh yeah. The goods. I'm gonna have to go back through and put everything where it goes. No worries though. What? Drain cleaner. Ooh. Hammer time. Oh yeah. 
That's for them big nuts, y'all, in case you didn't know. No pun intended. I don't know what that is. We'll check it out. So, yeah. Toolbox, one of the tools. Oh, zip tie. So, we always need. Oh, black tape. I missed for my black tape. I misplaced my black tape so much. Yeah. Tape measure. Level. A bunch more wrenches, screwdrivers, ratchets. Exacto knife. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's got breakaway blades. What? Man. I ain't saying nothing about that. Oh, line wrenches. So you know they got line wrenches in there. One of the most common. Mm-hmm. A Mac take this a flea mark and sell it for well, there's the other couple line wrenches. I could sell it for like a buck fifty for what I got here, but I need this. This is a not get rid of kind of thing, y'all. All right, till the next clip. All right, last but not least, let's go over this ticket. I'm at home having a gourmet meal. The old lady slaved over. I think uh, the microwave did all the work. Anyway, I can't read all this guy's stuff, but uh, he tells me what it is when he's writing it down. Numbers, 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 and uh, yep, 213 bones. I didn't take all the stuff in. I showed you in the video earlier, it's probably like 40 pounds or more. But we will. Just wanted to show you uh, that plumbing dumpster. Boy, it provides. It wasn't all the plumbing, but at least 90% of it was. And there's still probably about another 15, 20%. <coughs> or uh, what's 20? 80% more in the buckets. All right. Guys, like, subscribe, share, do your thing. So, the total. That scrap equaled 213 bucks, and there's more in storage. You saw that in a clip earlier. Any thoughts, Badger? <laughs> Any thoughts, Badger? Just kidding, Jimmy.